Welcome to the Fundy Fringe. We gather on the traditional, unceded territory of the Willistaquaic, Passamaquoddy, and Mi'kmaq peoples, covered by the Treaties of Peace and Friendship, which recognizes Mi'kmaq and Willistaquaic title, but does not deal with the surrender of lands and resources. The festival would not be possible without the support of our sponsors, St. John Theatre Company, Canadian Heritage, the Province of New Brunswick, the City of St. John, and St. John Community Arts Board. 100% of this show's ticket sales are returned to the artists, so please consider tipping the fringe. Please check with our volunteers after the performance about donating. As per our COVID operational plan, please remain in your seat for the duration of the performance. If you need to leave your seat, please wear a mask and check with a volunteer or staff member of the Fringe. Please turn your phones to silent and enjoy the show. Kelsey. Uh, Xander. <laughs> Sorry, I kept you waiting. I had to stop and get you these. Oh. <laughs> Where's your wine? Uh, can we get a wine menu? You look great, but tense. Why so tense? It's just, I feel like I'm being watched. Probably because you're so beautiful. <laughs> you are my sexy bookworm. Oh, Xander. That's more like it. This is our time. No work, no distractions. Just us. <laughs> That's delicious. I discovered this place with uh, a colleague last night and knew I had to bring my girl to it. I wish we got to see more of each other. It's our busy season, you know that. I know, I just... I, I, you like waking up with me, don't you? <laughs> you know I do. I just think that Why we Why don't we take a trip together? Somewhere romantic, away from any distractions. Really? We haven't gone away together yet. Sounds great. <laughs> Things are just crazy here. It'll be nice to be just the two of us. Really, just the two of us. I love you. Uh, I know we haven't said it yet, but I just had to say it now. No pressure to say it back, though. Just the thought of going away together, it means things are getting serious. In fact... Why don't we take this back to your place? <laughs> I want to show my girl how I feel. <laughs> okay, just uh, let me go to the bathroom first. I will never make it all the way home. Sure. Check, please. <laughs> Emma, hey babe. You coming home soon? Uh, I told you I'm working late. You did? Uh, yeah, at dinner last night. I don't recall. I forgive you, babe. I'll try not to stay too late, okay? You promise? I promise. You know I love you. I love you too, Xander. <laughs> All right, let's go. Uh, you okay? She said, I love you. Should have seen this coming. I've had her on the ropes for a while now. She definitely wanted to ask me more, though, like, move in. <sighs> Guess I'm going to have to cut her loose. On the other hand, I did a pretty good job of dodging that bullet. Maybe this one still has a little gas left in the tank.
you're so good to me. I know what my girl likes. You know what I don't like? Uh, cream in your coffee. When my girl is hiding something from me. I'm not hiding anything. I'm sorry. You just seem off. Well, it's just there was something I really wanted to talk to you about last night, but we never got the chance. I also had a weird run-in in the ladies' room, and I was hoping that we could keep talking. Uh, you know what? Sorry, babe. Uh, I'd love to stay and chat, but i got to get to the office. On a Saturday? Yeah, I have to pull some overtime. Right. Xander? Text me later? I always do. work. It always works. The day that stops working, I'm done for. <laughs> get your head back in the game, Xander. You've got to get home to your wife. How are you going to pull this one off? Um, slept at the office. Haven't used that one with her in a while. And she'll be none the wiser. I should be getting an award for this. Oh wait, I already am. Welcome home. Good morning. How was work? Work was good. Had to, couldn't stop thinking about you though. Huh. Buy one, get one free. You think you're so clever, don't you? I knew I couldn't come empty handed, so I had to stop and get you those. But you didn't come home. I worked so late, I just decided to sleep at the office. Didn't go to any restaurants. What is this, the Spanish Inquisition? <laughs> I made a doctor's appointment yesterday to get my hormone levels checked. I wanted to make sure that everything was optimal for getting pregnant. Pregnant? Yeah. Xander, I'm so excited that you're ready. I didn't say I, I didn't say I was ready. Yes, you did, at dinner. Two nights ago, <laughs> we came home and tried. I think you're remembering wrong. No. No, I'm not. Things are great right now. Are they? I don't want to ruin what we have with a baby, do you? And what do we have, Xander? All this? Us? You just need to relax. Why don't you go take a shower? I will join you. Hey, sexy. Hey. I was just thinking about you. Really? Yeah. Remember I said we should take a trip together? Really? How, how about next weekend? Oh, yeah. Xander. <laughs> I just can't get enough of you. I love you. Mm. I'll, uh, I'll get back to you later with the uh, details. Who was that? Just someone from the office. Jeff can't do the presentation in Montreal anymore, so now I have to go. Next weekend. Can't get someone else to do it. I mean, next weekend is our anniversary. I know. I'll, I'll make it up to you when I get back. We'll uh, we'll go to our place again. Chez Rouge. <sighs> Hi, it's Emma. Have you given any more thought to our little chat in the ladies' room?
Hi, hi. Fave thing about being a bartender, getting to hear everyone's stories. And I don't mean the my dog likes to sleep all day kind of stories. No, I'm talking the juicy stories, the stories with dirt. Um, just yesterday, there was a woman in here talking about how her husband is cheating on her. Has been for a while now, and I mean a while, like since the ring. It's tragic. Oh, anyway, you know, those are the rough ones, but there's good times too. Uh, so many things come and go here. It's great when you get to watch them unfold right in front of your eyes. Oh, oh look, another tragedy walking in. You look like you need a drink. <laughs> Try 18. <laughs> oh, I don't think I'm allowed to serve you 18. <laughs> I know that one. Oh, yeah. That's the I just found out he's a cheater. Ugh, been doing this a while? A few years. I'm so stupid. I should have stayed in my cubicle. I like my cubicle. Does it have a picture of your cat? No. It has a picture of my dog, Mr. Darcy. <sighs> and to think, I was going to ask him to move in with me. Your dog? Is he homeless? Sorry. Continue. All because he called me sexy. Mm. I'm such an idiot. You're not an idiot. You just got played. <sighs> he was going to take me away next weekend. He was going to take me and not his wife. Your point? Well, clearly I'm the one that he wants to spend time with. Okay, I think that last shot tipped the scales the wrong way. What? You're with a cheater, remember? No, Xander is not a cheater. He can't be. I have to go call someone. Where did he say he was going next weekend? Huh. Sounds like someone has a decision to make. What's this called? Revenge? I hope she takes my advice and that I get to hear how it goes. That's the other thing about being a bartender. Sometimes you get all this dirt, but then you don't get to hear how, how it turns out. Like that woman I was telling you about, she was acting all crazy. What, she goes and, and kills her cheating husband? It can happen, you know, but she hasn't come back, so I just don't know. Guess I'll have to use my imagination. Xander. <clears throat> oh, Xander. Yeah. How long? How long will my trip be? Uh, just a few days. You know damn well what I'm talking about. Babe, I don't know. What How you're... long have you been seeing Kelsey? Who's Kelsey? <sighs> Someone got sloppy. Uh, uh. Dumb isn't a good color on you, Xander. And uh, jealous isn't a good color on you. Stop lying. Uh, she's just some girl at work. She's obsessed with me, really. Been thinking of getting her fired. That's your story. Uh, she, uh, she's got this whole fantasy relationship built up in her head. I keep telling her to back off. Babe, come on, this is me, your love bunny. I would never do anything to hurt you. Did you sleep with her? Babe! Stop, Xander! I've been watching you for a while now. I can't believe you would invade my privacy like that. Uh, you're mad at me? Maybe I should just call her then. Go ahead, but uh, 
she'll say we're in a relationship. Like I said, she's crazy. I need to take a walk, give you time to cool down, get this horrible idea out of your head. Oh, take your time, sweetie. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I've got him right where I want him. If he would just tell me the truth, this would all be over. Who am I kidding? Looks like I'm going to have to do things the hard way. <laughs> the games have just begun. <laughs> Poor Kelsey. I mean, if my boyfriend cheated on me, I'd lose him. I, I don't know what I'd do. It's just so disrespectful. I know. I'd have him sentenced to hard time. Uh, is cheating a crime? I don't know. But I don't think so. It should be. Uh, if I can't have him thrown in jail, I guess I'd just, uh, I'd key his car and then run away, far away, and start a new life somewhere where no one knows me. No, no one knows I've been cheated on. Find me. I used your phone. Of course you did. You weren't answering. I got worried. Oh, you did? About what? About you, my little love bug. Oh, don't. What? Just stop it, Xander. I know I'm your mistress. Your wife called me. That bitch! You convinced me that you've been all mine for six months? Uh, Kelsey, it's not like that. Emma and I, we've been having problems. Oh, are those problems commitment issues? <laughs> She's about to be my ex-wife, Kelsey. What? I was going to tell you on our getaway next weekend. But she's still your mistress, Sander. She has been the whole time we've been together. She won't be for much longer, because I want to be with you. Really? Yes. And you're really divorcing her? Call my lawyer and ask him. I tried to make it work. Really, I did. But it was over long before I met you. I just didn't know how she would take it. You're the one I want to be with. Oh, Xander. <laughs> I have an idea. Let's go away together tonight. That sounds great. <laughs> Why don't you go home and pack? I'll meet you there in an hour. OK, I just have to go to the bathroom first. <laughs> Emma thinks she's so clever calling Kelsey. Trying to get her to turn on me? Well, joke's on her. Here I was going to stay with her. Guess I will have to divorce her after all. Make a, find a way to make it look like she's the one who cheated. <laughs> Miss me already? Xander? Oh, thank God. I think I'm being followed. What? I was coming home to pack, and I kept feeling like I was being watched. Uh, it's probably nothing. I swear, I keep seeing someone outside the windows. Oh, that crazy... Uh, lock the doors. Stay away from the windows. I'll be right there. Come okay. On. Hurry, Xander. I'm scared. <sighs> Emma, what did you do this time? Kelsey? <laughs> Where is she? Uh, Kelsey's a little tied up at the moment. What did you do? Nothing, dear. Don't you dear me. You seem tense. 
How about a shower or a neck massage? How dare you! You're the one who's been playing me like a fiddle our entire marriage. She was obsessed with me and I just didn't... And you couldn't resist Kelsey's puppy dog eyes or Jana's golden blonde hair or Sammy's adorable laugh. How did you know? <laughs> you really thought I was buying your I fell asleep at the office act. Oh, please. <laughs> Man, you had it down to a science. Watching you with them, knowing exactly what to say and when. Oof, gosh, it must have been exhausting. Those wheels always turning, you know, staying one step ahead. Yet you stayed. So did you. I... Uh, Spit it out. I needed you. Ugh, to go to all those parties. Whew. The doting wife. Well, no more. I want a divorce. You don't get to decide that. Yes, I do. What are you doing? Defending Kelsey from a crazy person? Oh, no, I didn't do anything to Kelsey. Oh, right. It's all in my head. Sander, just please put the knife down. You'll get nothing. I'll ruin you, you crazy bitch. You would love to see that, wouldn't you? See me desperate and alone? I would. Try to control me, this is what you get. Threatened? Yes. Oh, but, Sander, come on. This is me, your love bunny, your wife. I just say those things to get you to leave me oh, alone. Sander! <laughs> Sir, come out. Put your hands where we can see them. <sighs> Emma went crazy. She tied Kelsey up, threatened me with a knife. That's your story. Yes, she was going to go after Kelsey. I had to stop her. All right. Can I go? No, sir. He came looking for the mistress, Kelsey, and was in quite a rage. She didn't want to go with him. In fact, she wanted to break up with him. I wanted to break up with him, and he freaked out. He tied me up. I had just told him I wanted a divorce, and he freaked out. I came to save Kelsey, and he attacked me. He's, He's just, just not, not the, the man, man I, I thought, thought he was. was. You look good. Your flattery doesn't work on me anymore, Sander. Neither does the truth, apparently. The truth? <laughs> You're one to talk. You think you can make them believe I did this to you? Come on, I I've got the best lawyers in town. This will never stick. Actually, it will. See, Emma has been planning this for quite some time. She's the one who approached me that night in the bathroom at Chez Rouge. <laughs> When I finally said yes, it was time to put her little plan into motion. <laughs> this isn't you, Kelsey. You want to see me ruined? Actually, I do. It's time that you got what's coming to you. Oh, and what's that? <laughs> Just desserts. They always were your favorite. You know, it's like Kelsey told me that night at the restaurant. Cheaters should be punished. Thank you for attending the fringe. Please leave any bottles or cups from the bar at your seat. Please remain seated as our volunteers will help you leave the space in an orderly manner. Remember to wear your mask and respect physical distancing as you leave. If you'd like to tip the fringe, please leave a donation in the jar by the door as you exit.